Hello everybody, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another makeup review. An updated one because if you guys saw my semi-sweet palette review, uh, one, I will link that in the description for you, and two, that was actually filmed over the summer and I recently kind of went through my files, edited it, and posted it. So as you can see, my makeup skills have gotten significantly different. Today I'm going to be giving you guys the tea on this palette right here. Is it worth it? Is it good? Is it amazing? Do I love it? Do I hate it? You're going to find out right now. <laughs> Starting out with my initial thoughts on the product, it does come in a beautiful packaging. I'm just going to try and position it so the lights don't really reflect back at you. But anyway, it comes in this really cute white packaging. It has some silver glitter stripes, and then it also has nice in cursive right on the front. Very beautiful, very chic. I am... Um head over heels about this. In fact, this is one of these few makeup boxes that I definitely think I'm going to be keeping for a while, but this packaging is just too beautiful to not display. In fact, it would make an amazing winter vanity decoration, so around Christmas time I can bring it out and be all festive, and it's cute. The cute packaging does continue with the product itself. It comes in this nice white cheek packaging. On the back it just has the silver Kylie label with the shades. I did get lipstick on it, but we're going to pretend that didn't happen. In the front it just says nice and it has these little bubbles and Kylie Cosmetics. And something that I love about this palette is that the letters and the bubbles are actually velvet. So if you have the Anastasia palettes like the Modern Renaissance, Subculture, Soft Glam, you know how it has a velvety texture to the cover, this is nearly the exact same thing, just not all over the palette. It's almost reverse because with the Anastasia here. I'll pull it out and show you. So just kind of quick comparing the packaging to my Anastasia Soft Glam palette. As you can see, this one has velvet all over the cover except for the letters and the title, whereas this one is all chic except for velvet on the letters and the bubbles. So it is pretty much the exact opposite. However, it is the same velvety material. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. The one downfall to white packaging though is it is prone to getting dirty, so right here you can see I have a couple little foundation spots that I have tried to rub out, but it is not horrible and it is very cute. Moving on to the inside of the palette, all of the shades here are labeled with really cute holiday themed names. So we have shades such as Jack Frost, then over here we have Drummer Boy, uh, Blizzard somewhere up in here, um, Ginger Snap, Holly, Santa Baby, those kind of names. They are all beautiful. It does come with a nice lengthy mirror in the top of the packaging, which again is super amazing. Not every palette does this, and I love when they do. And then the packaging itself does have more of the silver stripe theme going on all around here. And also the shades are kind of framed in a little silver square. Now on to the content of the palette. There are a total of 14 unique shades here. Um, I believe it's 8 mattes and then it would be like 16 shimmers. They are all stunning. First off, let me just swatch this one right here. Gumdrop. This is one of my favorite ones. Like, girl. Ready? <gasps> It is stunning. It is just a very glittery pigment. I absolutely love it. I'm just going to quick wipe that on my fingers. And it's not just the glitters that are great too. It is also the mattes. So here I'm just going to, can't really tell, but that matte shade, it is miracle. It's just a nice light tan peach. It looks incredible. Now, like every makeup product I purchased, I was a little skeptical about this one, mainly because there has been some controversy on the formula of the Kylie Shadows. And I'm blinding you guys, sorry. There have been people saying they aren't very pigmented or aren't very smooth and blendable. So, of course, shopping a new brand, doing it all online, not being able to swatch it and see it for myself, I was a little skeptical and spending, I believe it was $44 on this palette. It was a leap. <laughs> In fact, it was actually Manny MUA's review on this palette that inspired me to purchase this palette for my collection. I am so glad I watched that video because if it weren't for him and his kind words regarding this product right here, I probably would not have added it to my collection and I would not have discovered my next love. My boyfriend just texted me! I think one of the main selling points for me personally regarding this palette is it does have a ton of warm tones, and if you know me, I love my warm tones. I think I might have said that in my last makeup review, but I can never get enough warm tones. Especially this shade down here, like the almost burgundy, it's called Wonderland. These are like my favorite kind of shadows ever. I love these kind of colors. They are so beautiful. So playing off of the whole warm tone thing, there are a lot of warm tones, but there are also some cool tones. So um, this one right here, I believe it is Mulberry, and then there's one up here, which is, that's not holly, what is that? Blizzard. This one is Blizzard. This is honestly 
an incredible shade. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. Like, look at that. That is incredible. Honestly, for me, when I look at this palette, this was one of the first Kylie palettes that I personally saw that I felt I could create a full look out of and I am obsessed with this. In fact, I think I'm actually gonna be taking this same palette to Europe with me in a couple weeks when I travel there. I want just a nice, simple palette. Another unique thing about this palette is it does come in kind of like a sister set, almost similar to the Anastasia Modern Renaissance and Subculture palettes. It does have a sister palette, which is the Naughty palette. However, I did not find that palette suited my personal makeup taste as much as it might have suited others, which is why I did choose the Kylie palette it was definitely more of a neutral warm toned palette. Now beauty isn't everything when it comes to purchasing makeup. I honestly find the quality of these shadows to be incredible. In fact I feel like they do last all day with my specific skin type and my makeup routine and everything. They do last all day. I have worn them to eight hour shifts at work. I've worn them to you know 12 hour days at school. They just always stay on so I love the quality of them. Again, it does kind of vary depending on your skin type and your products that you use. However, I, I, I couldn't ask for anything better with these shadows. In fact, I am so ready to purchase Kylie's Weather Collection. I'm just going to go on a mini shopping spree and totally buy some more Kylie cosmetic stuff because this palette did it for me. Overall, I would rate this palette 5 out of 5 stars. I don't have any complaints about it. I don't know, I just love it. And for someone that has never used Kylie Cosmetics before, that is probably saying a lot. It is beautiful, I love it, I can't get over it. I'm just quickly looking at it to see if there's any specific shades I had problems with. Um, I think at first, Wonderland, it was that burgundy color I pointed out earlier. Um, I think I did have a little trouble blending it out at first, but I think it could also be partially, partially. I think it could also be partially due to the fact that I feel like the top of shadows are a little bit different from the middle of shadows. So once you kind of use it a little bit more, it does kind of like wear out a little bit and it does start to be a little bit more workable. Could be the only one that notices that. Anyway, Kylie, congrats on such an amazing collection. I wish I could have gotten more pieces of it, but you did amazing, girl. I love you. So now on to the nitty gritty of makeup purchasing. Is it worth the money? My personal opinion on the cost of this palette, um, I do rate it 5 out of 5 stars. So for $44, I am receiving very high quality shadows. I am receiving something I love and will frequently use and get my money's worth out of. However, if maybe the shades aren't your thing or maybe you just don't like the layout of the palette, you know, that's completely understandable, then maybe you don't want to invest in it. But for me, I love it. I use it all the time. I think I definitely get my money's worth out of such a great palette. Now, I've never tried any of her other products, so this is my honest opinion on what I feel about this palette. I've never tried her lip kits, her glow kits, whatever. You know, guys, I'm not sponsored. I have less than 100 subscribers at this point. So that is the tea on the Kylie Jenner Nice Palette. I love it. I don't even feel like I have to go on and on about this palette. I think it is stunning. I think it is worth it. And girl, you know me, I will be hitting up Kylie Cosmetics next season with their new Christmas stuff. Also, as much as I hate to admit it, I must have some sort of obsession with the Kardashians because if you have been here from the very beginning, like literally two years ago, I posted a video of me playing the Kardashian game on my phone. This was before my super long, like year and a half hiatus. And now I'm ranting about how great Kylie Jenner makeup is. So with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you guys have any more questions, maybe I missed something, maybe I didn't cover something you guys wanted to see, uh, let me know down below. I would be more than happy to answer those questions for you. But for now, I am leaving you guys with my makeup tutorial on how I got this look right here. So I hope you guys enjoy. So starting off today, I am prepping my face with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. This is one of my favorite moisturizers at the moment. I am obsessed with this. I feel like it hydrates your skin really well and it feels really light so it doesn't feel like you're wearing a mask or any really thick creams. I just think it is the perfect base for any primer. Okay, so once that is kind of set in on my face a little bit, I am going in with my Holy Grail Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. 
This is my all-time favorite primer. I am obsessed with this. I feel like this is the perfect primer for my skin because I kind of have a little bit of combination skin going on um, and it's not too oily but it also isn't drying and I feel like it just makes a really nice base for all of my makeup and I can use it as both a face primer and an eye primer which I love. And I'm just concentrating this around my eyes, my nose, forehead, and then chin. Just kind of like my basic oily or trouble spots want to make sure the makeup stays on pretty good all day. For foundation today, I am going in with my Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. And in this foundation, I am the shade 130, which is for fair skin with yellow warm undertones. And one of the tips Sephora actually gave me is to apply it in sections because it does dry fast. So if you put it all on and then blend the entire face, it might not look as incredible as if you did it by sections. And I have found that to be very accurate when doing my own makeup with this. I love this foundation. It isn't full coverage, but it is enough so that I can wear it kind of every day um, for quite a few different situations. You know, I can wear it to school, I can wear it to work, I can wear it to an event. It just kind of is a nice all around foundation. And definitely one of my current favorite products. I am just blending this out with my IT Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. This was a limited edition one, I believe, for Valentine's Day or maybe it was for breast cancer. I honestly can't remember. It's glittery and I have been using it so you can't really tell, but it is supposed to be in the shape of a heart and it's super cute and I am obsessed. <laughs> I am a sucker for cute limited edition brushes, honestly. For concealer today, I am using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. It is a little pink for me. Um, I might get a new one in the future, but it works just fine. So I'm just putting a little bit under my eyes, some on my nose, forehead, um, and then also just a little bit on my chin as well. I look like a clown. <laughs> then to blend this out, I'm using a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. To set all this makeup, I'm actually taking one of my first makeup products ever. It is my CoverGirl Clean Pressed Powder in the shade 525, which is buff beige. And it's actually multiple shades too dark for me, but I have definitely gotten a lot of use out of it and I still continue to use it. I think this works really nice just to kind of set my makeup and it's just adding a little bit of color to my face. Not very much. It's hardly noticeable, but it is just enough. Moving on to brows, I'm going in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. This is honestly my favorite brow product of all time. I think it just gets right up in there and it looks incredible. Brows are a process and it does not help that I have virtually no brows. Moving on to the star of the show today, we are using the Nice by Kylie Jenner eyeshadow palette. This is from her winter 2017 collection and as you will see later in the review portion of this video, this is the first Kylie Cosmetics item I have ever purchased. Oh my gosh guys, it is stunning. The color range is absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't reflect too much with my lights, but the color range is stunning. A lot of warm tones. We do have some cool tones here and here, and I think maybe even this one. Overall, really, really cute. And can we just say, this one is called Ginger Snap, and that is one of my boyfriend's nicknames, so I love him so much. But anyway, okay, so starting out my look today, I am using a Morphe R40 brush, taking the shade Miracle, and we're just going to be buffing this all around our eye in the crease, outside of the crease, just as a nice little transition shade here. And using the same R40 brush, I am going in with the shade Lullaby, which is this nice little tan peachy shade. And again, just putting that all over my crease. Next, I am taking my Morphe R34 brush and taking this nice little pink shade, which I believe is called Macaroon. We're just going to be applying this to the outer, uh, I want to say like outer half, two-thirds of our eye. I just think the combination of the pink adds a nice warm undertone to the overall look. Next, I am taking a Morphe R39 brush and I am taking this nice little red shade here, which is called Holly. And this is just going right in the crease on our outer third. And I'm going in with a very light hand at first just because it is very pigmented and I don't want to 
make the look look a little too muddy. And I'm also bringing it on to the eyelid a bit as well. And then of course, always remember to blend your shadows in between layers just so they all transition together. With the same R39 brush, I'm going in with this dark red maroon shade here, Wonderland. And this is just going to give us some depth to the crease. Next I'm taking an e.l.f. domed eyeshadow brush and just taking the shade right here, Gumdrop. This is a gorgeous shimmer pigment. I love it. It reminds me almost of a glitter. Really nice quality and formula. Now I'm taking my R41 brush and going in with this dark brown shade, which is called Hot Cider. And for this shade, I'm just going in very, very lightly in the very outer corner of my eye, just to kind of differentiate the different layers and also add a little depth. For my lower lash line, I'm taking my e.l.f. defining eyeshadow brush and I'm dipping that into the shade Macaroon. And then we are just going to start on the outer part of our eye and just kind of buff it in towards our inner corner. Now that the eyeshadow look is complete, I'm just going to quick pop on some tart lashes in the style Flirt and I will be right back. So now we are moving on to the cheeks, and for bronzer today, I'm going to be using my Benefit Hula Bronzer, which is holy grail. And I'm just taking my limited edition Tarte Christmas brush from 2017, and we're just going to kind of buff that in my cheek. For a bronze topper today, I'm going to be taking my Bliss Cosmetics bronzer in the shade Kiss Me Caramel, and it is a very glittery bronzer, which is why I like to use it more as a bronze topper than as a bronzer itself, because I feel like it just adds that nice sun-kissed glow. And holy cow, this is showing up way more pigmented on my camera than it is on my face. <laughs> it's really weird. Next I'm taking my NARS blusher in the shade Dolce Vita and I am just putting that on top of my bronzer just to give myself a little pink in my cheeks. And for highlighter today, of course, we are using my Anastasia Amrezi highlight. I love this thing with a passion. In fact, I want to go get myself another one just as a backup in case this ever runs low. It is absolutely stunning. Like, look at that. It is so gorgeous. Today I'm going to be lining my lips with the L'Oreal Color Riche Liner in the shade Natural. Or O oh Natural? O oh Natural. <laughs> And I'm going to be filling my lips today with my Bare Minerals Liquid Lipstick in the shade Friendship. And honestly, these formulas are insane. <laughs> And to keep my makeup in place today, I'm going to be using my MAC Fix Plus Spray. So that is it for today's video, guys. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to comment down below what your favorite Kylie Jenner cosmetics product is, and I'll be sure to go and definitely try some of those out. You can find the links to all of my social media down below as well, and also make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on a video. I hope you guys all have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye!